There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue Good morning guys, welcome back up to our property. It is super early in the morning, the sun is not even up yet. We are in the trailer, or I am in the trailer. The kids are in, the kids and my wife are in the Forerunner. We are headed into town because we have an exciting day planned in town this weekend, in, in a town that's close to us. They're having balloons and tunes in Kanab, Utah. Like there's 40 some hot air balloons, a glowing light lantern thing that you put up at, at night and all these vendors and stuff like that. So we're gonna go take a break from working today and go do a bunch of fun stuff in town. So come along with us and uh, let's go have some fun. We're down in Kanab for the Balloons and Tunes Festival. It is so awesome. The kids are loving it. We met with our friend Larry that you guys all know so well. How many balloons do you think there is? There's probably at least 20 balloons. Like 30. 30 balloons? 20 or 30 balloons. We're just so hanging out having a good time. We're going to hang out, probably get some coffee, some hot chocolate, and enjoy it. Balloons and Tunes. There's some awesome bands that are playing today and a bunch of vendors here in town. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Which one's your favorite one? The strawberry, yeah, which I is know, already I up in the air. Favorite. Yeah, it's right in front of us, huh? We 
just got back from the property from looking at all the hot air balloons. That was so fun. Uh, we're gonna hang out up here for a few hours before we head back down into the town and they're having a hot, what is it called? The lantern. Hot, those like, those fire lanterns like, at night that go up in the air. There's like a whole, the whole city's doing it. So we're gonna go back and do that here in a few hours. Candle lanterns, yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're gonna hang out here, work on the Jeep a little bit and uh, do a few things that need to get done. As usual, there's something wrong that needs to get fixed when it's a 20 year old Jeep, but that's fine. Little things here and there. Right now we're having a problem with it starting. I have battery power. I crank it, no crank, no start, no nothing. I have replaced pretty much everything that you can replace. The battery's new, the starter's new, the starter relay's new, the ignition switch at the steering column is new. The only thing left is to look at the neutral safety switch, which you don't even have to buy a new one. You can just take it off, rebuild it real fast, just clean it up and then put it back on and that should work because they are about $250. Other than that, there's just chasing the wires down that go from the ignition, pretty much all the starter wiring you have to go through, but that's like in like a wire bundle with 50 other wires and you don't know which one's which. So you pretty much have to look at all of them and make sure nothing's chewed up by a mouse or a rat or whatever. Make sure the grounds are good. Anyway, instead of going that route and trying to chase everything down, I might have to do that eventually. I'm gonna take out the neutral safety switch, rebuild it, and then put it back on, and fingers crossed that it works. So let's do it. So the neutral safety switch, it is on the passenger side, on the side of the transmission. So right now I'm on my little creeper. I'm down here, I got my wrenches. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do right now. All right, this guy right here, you can see it, it's right there, that safety switch. So you gotta take out that nut, it's like behind my finger, you see it? And then that one, and then you just slide it off, and that's it, and then it goes, there's a wire that goes up, and it just disconnect the wire connector and then pull it out. All right, I got the neutral safety switch out. It is right here, and it is dirty, to say the least. I did break off one little thing right there, I don't know if you can see it, that is broke. But I think I got enough there that I can still use it. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this thing off, make it look a thousand times better, and then I'm gonna take it apart, clean everything up, and make sure or see if it helps out my situation. I was cleaning this thing off, and like this piece came off first, this little piece, and I was like, okay. <laughs> As you can see, we got a few pieces here. I was like, that sucks, you know? That's not gonna work. And then I took this screw out, and then the piece that was right here holding that screw on there came off. And I was like, well, let me just, it seems like I gotta order one. So let me just keep taking this apart. And then as soon as I took out these, the rest of these little screws and I, try, I tried to like just peel it off, like it broke into pieces like this, like it is in pieces. So if you don't know how a neutral safety ship works, this thing right here hooks up to your transmission inside. So when you move from like park to neutral, whatever it moves and then what well, this thing sits right here right and then it gets onto these guides right here and then it lets it know when like this is probably park and that's probably neutral and everything else won't let it work so you can see how gummed up this was and this thing's in pieces so i'd imagine pretty safe bet this thing was not working correctly and so gummed up that when you push this down and that spring doesn't even push it back out <laughs> plan and intentions of getting this thing up and going today is not going to happen. I just called the parts store and ordered one to be here in a couple days and then I'll have to put it on and fingers crossed that's the thing. That's it. Or maybe I broke it when I was pulling it out. It came out pretty easy, so I don't think so. Anyway, I think that's, that's it for right now on this Jeep. There's nothing else I can really do. See what else happens today. Well, after a few chores and trying to clean the 4Runner and what else did you do? Didn't you take the side steps off the 4Runner as well? Yeah, so the 4Runner, we have these steps when we bought it and I didn't like them. Anyway, so they just collect mud and they don't, like it, does, it just gets frozen and it's impossible to take off unless you use like a hammer. So yes. we, I just took them off because they're pointless, never use them. Now that probably dropped about 300 pounds off the 4Runner. <laughs> <laughs> well, after doing all of this amazing stuff and having even cleaned the forerunner out for me, that was so nice of him, we decided we're going to head back down the mountain to go do the lanterns and it is a muddy mess. 
They might not be on the steps, but the mud is caked on the side of the forerunner. That was a long, and the kids are totally passed out. It has been a long day and more fun festivities to come, so I'm totally down for them to take a snooze on the way in. We are letting off some lanterns. It's pretty awesome. Hubby, show us what the lanterns look like. And the fire department is lighting them up and they are going into the sky. It is so beautiful and totally awesome. Yes, first times for everything. Over the top of the flame. Ready? Now once your piece of cardboard has a big flame on it, don't let it go. Allow a lot of hot air to fill inside of that balloon before you release. You'll see the ones that take off too soon because they go really slow.